I need that. Uh, no, I need it. My name is Marilyn Pacheco. I am 40 years old, and this is my story about endometriosis. I was diagnosed with endometriosis in 2005. When I found out that I had been diagnosed with endometriosis, um, unfortunately, I had already reached a stage four. Being diagnosed with endometriosis was also being diagnosed infertile. It was a very difficult moment in my life. It was very difficult for my family. Um, at that time, my daughter had been uh, wanting a second child and kept asking me for a baby brother. And I think the hardest thing was telling my daughter that I wasn't going to be able to have another child. Hi, my name is Ricardo Pacheco. I'm 44 years old and I am married to Marilyn Pacheco. My wife was diagnosed with uh, endometriosis. Um, at that time, I really did not understand what the disease was all about. Uh, but I was very concerned. I remember not being able to handle seeing another woman pregnant. It would cause me to cry, whether I was on a bus, on a train, or in a social setting with other people. Um, it was very hard for me because my husband and I had been trying for such a long time. In response that we were not going to be able to have another child was a uh, disappointment at the time. Uh, we were hoping that uh, having to uh, a second child. The complications of endometriosis are very severe. There's constant bleeding, there's hemorrhaging, there's pain, fatigue, um, just a number of different issues that a woman can go through. I decided to undergo a full hysterectomy in September of 2016. The recovery was wonderful because I had a lot of family and friend support and it was a very difficult decision to make but one that I don't regret because I know that in the future there will be an opportunity to potentially adopt a child that needs a home. Um, you know, and there are different ways to have another child in your life. Um, one thing that I will say is for any young woman that may be suffering from menstrual cycle pain, and, and the pain of endometriosis is something so strong that it actually causes you to double over in pain. Um, and that's a warning sign. That's, you know, it's something for you not to take lightly and to be able to say, you know, something is not right because it's not a normal part of a normal menstrual cycle.